Today I'm going to show you how to apply milky spore powder. Milky spore, it's only harmful to the grubs once it's in the ground. It's not harmful to other insects that are considered helpful. It's naturally occurring. I understand that this substance was developed uh, by the U.S. government to aid in Japanese beetle control. If you're not aware, Japanese beetles come from the grubs in the ground. And the reason I'm doing this particular application is I have a, a mole infestation. Uh, so if you eliminate the grubs, you eliminate the moles. In a previous video, I showed you how I assembled this milky spore applicator. It's relatively inexpensive to make, all out of PVC. I give you the actual uh, parts and dimensions. My custom applicator has a perforated PVC blank in the bottom and uh, I drilled that I believe with an 8 inch bit. Uh, again, if you want more instructions on how to uh, make and assemble this, uh, check out the former video. Today, I'm going to show you how to lay this stuff down. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I chose today to apply the milky spore because uh, we're expecting considerable rain later today, starting this afternoon and tonight. Uh, when you apply milky spore, you want to make sure it's watered in well to the ground. Uh, so I, I figured today would be a great day to apply. First things first, let's talk a little bit about safety. Milky spore powder is something that you do not want to get on your skin, in your eyes, and you certainly don't want to breathe it in. So as a precaution, I'll be wearing long sleeves and pants so that I don't get it on my arms or legs. Uh, I'll be wearing a pair of gloves to protect my hands from exposure. I also have a very good cloth type respirator. Uh, this is a two strap type and it's a 3M 8246 in case you're interested in purchasing something similar to that for respiratory protection. And of course, I have some safety glasses to protect my eyes. To fill the container with milky spore, I'm simply going to use this large funnel. And when I'm done filling the container, I'm going to cap it off with this cap. So just as a quick tip for you, uh, anytime I wear these type of gloves, I just squirt a little bit of talcum powder in them. And with the talcum powder application, it makes it real easy to get them on and off. Okay, with my applicator filled, I'm going to go ahead and start putting this down. I've got a light rain starting here, uh, so I'm going to put down in grid pattern like I described in the former video. Again, if you want details on how to uh, not only assemble this applicator, but also how to apply, uh, check out that former video. Now I'm gonna be applying this every four feet. With just a tap, it applies a generous amount on the ground. And I'm gonna go step through four feet and I'll show you what the grid pattern looks like when I finished up here. Okay, so I got my application down and just in time. It's begun to rain. As I understand, this evening it's supposed to get a little harder in rain. Uh, so that'll soak that milky spore in real well. The applicator, it worked extremely well. Uh, I think it uh, was able to economically apply the milky spore. I had enough to go completely around my home. The one big takeaway that I gained from doing this project is that the funnel that I used was a little restrictive so I had to shake it quite a bit to get the milky spore powder into the applicator. I would suggest maybe a paper applicator with a larger opening that would make it much easier to pour the milky spore into the applicator. As stated previously I have another video that shows how this applicator is assembled so I'll leave a link to that video so that you can check it out and see the various parts that go into it and how to assemble it together. So thanks for watching today. Hopefully you found this information helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with others that may find it beneficial. See you next time.